Hi, I'm Honey Ward. I'm speaking to you from Mazatlan, Mexico, where I'm vacationing with loved ones. And I want to talk for a few minutes about living with intention. It's one of the most amazing things that you can learn to do for yourself. And in fact, our being here on holiday in Mexico is because we live with intention. And sometimes people think it's kind of random about whether things work out or whether life is great. But what I've learned over time that it is a process, a very specific process of expanding our consciousness so that we live more powerfully. And you may have noticed some people for whom life seems to be open and easy and loving and other people for whom everything seems to be a stumbling block. It's not about who they are, it's about how they function. And one of the great tools that I have to share with you is a model of consciousness called the Consciousness Measuring Scale that helps you go from powerless and depressed where it feels like there are no options and you can't produce what you want through the steps of aggressive and uncertain and responsible all the way out to being powerful and simultaneously empowering. Now one thing I want to point out is that some people will say, well you're either coming from here or you're coming from love. It's not like that. There are 10 steps. And if you don't know the steps, you won't be able to climb the ladder to living powerfully and creating the life out of your own intentions that you most desire. One of the things that I also want to share a little bit with you about is communication. Often we think communication is about how we speak and choosing the right words. But I, I suggest that accurate and empowering communication is as much about how we listen to one another and how we really open our hearts to one another to inspire and to empower the people with whom we are communicating. And it's not just about what we say and how we listen, it's about knowing how to frame a conversation. What happens if you, if you get in an upset with somebody? Something goes wrong, goes sideways, it happens to all of us, but what do we do about it? There are practical, pragmatic tools that you can use to create more beautiful, empowering, and loving communication with your friends, with your family, with anyone you choose to. It even works in the workplace, too. For those of you who are, who are not on vacation in Mazatlan and you're going to the office every day, it's good to know how you can have your workplace be a space that is more operational, more functional, and not just on a base level, but operates at a higher level of consciousness. There's so many things that we can do during a day together for you to be able to learn how to have more practical and pragmatic tools so that you can create the life that you want, so that you can create your life with the intentions that you have starting the new year, and also, most importantly, so that you can create 2020 to be your very best year yet. I look forward to sharing with you. Thanks.